Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Off to Work We Go, a Bart Bonte game. I have no idea what this one is about, it's supposed to be rather surreal. Uh, we're going to be exploring some sort of an island with a facility on it and we're not sure if it's a dream or reality. And it's a first person exploration style game and that is about all I know. So let us get right into things. We're, uh, we're going to be listening to a lovely musical accompaniment, uh, a nice little score to go along with things, and we seem to be on the beach, like I said, with some water. This is a Unity game, by the way, a free in-browser playable one, and of course, uh, as any good game should have, we have a variety of space invaders that have crash-landed all over the beach. I'm not sure if they're uh, supposed to be maybe a metaphor, or maybe they are literal, I'm not sure, it could be either one. Uh, the fact that they have just sort of arbitrarily landed all over the place makes me wonder a little bit. You know, is this, were we the dude that was in charge of shooting down all the space invaders from the sky and they all landed all over this little island? I don't know, it's always been pretty blocky and dark whenever we could see uh, what was going on in the world of space invaders. So who knows, it could have been this the whole time. Uh, what is this? I think I found a briefcase. Can I interact? Oh, I picked it up. Alright, well I guess we can go to space invader work then. Off to work we go. This one's mostly barriers. Yeah, they seem to be uh, not exactly sentient. Uh, in other words, basically dead. That's another way to look at things. Uh, got a lovely shadow here on these pipes. Uh, you know, the details are in the right places. I'm gonna assume this facility uh, is below ground. Because right now, it's not exactly the most elaborate looking thing, and if the whole game takes place in there, it's gonna be over real fast. It's about the size of, like, two rooms stacked together. Nice effects, I should say, also. I mean, the sky is quite picturesque. I've got some okay smoke effects and some nice shadowing, I suppose. Uh, water is fairly standard. And we've got a very large FOV on our first person perspective, so let's see if we can head into this building here. Alright, things are looking pretty stark inside the building. Uh, I think we just went through a little quick loading screen there. The music has changed, and we're going to be heading down some stairs with a fairly generic, like, Unreal Tournament style, big square neon lights. Uh, so what do we have? We've got briefcases all over the place and a locker room. So what does this tell us? These are the other employees getting ready to go to work. They've all changed into their work suits or uniforms or whatever it is that they're supposed to wear. Uh, maybe they need to wear some sort of protective gear with whatever this job is. I don't know, I'm kind of curious. Maybe we're going to find out real soon. Alright, so we've got two buttons on the floor and a little grid panel system on this... Uh, door, which is making a picture that reminds me a little bit of a skull with like four extra pixels on the left side. Let's see if we can do something about that. Oh, okay, I think we're supposed to shift it until the Space Invader image comes into clear view, which would be right there. Very nice. Now if we hit these buttons, nothing happens. Right, let's go through another little quick loading zone. I was right, by the way, the entirety of the game is going to take place under the island, and I guess uh, subsequently under the ocean as well. So what is up with this? We've got looks like uh, yellow lines like you'd find in the road and a pipe, which is a, quite a lovely pipe actually, I have no complaints with this pipe uh, with a pretty shadow and oh look at all the shadowing work on the wall there reminds me of the room from GoldenEye 007's facility uh, is it facility? the one... The, the, oh no it's the archive? I don't know, the one that you often do deathmatches in that's like asymmetrical Oh, we've got another little puzzle on the wall, looks like. I don't know, it's been a while since I played Goldeneye. I need to like, go back and refresh my memory, apparently. So I'm going to assume the same will hold true here. So I would think also, like... J oh, okay, now we're doing vertically and horizontally. I get it. Uh, with the other door, I mean, really, you probably could have just kept walking on it over and over again. As long as you get what the point of the puzzle is, it would have solved itself eventually. I wonder why the heavy emphasis on space invaders... I hope we find out. I'm very curious. This is definitely, uh, it's engendering a sense of mystery in what's going on here. Alright, it's clearly another one. Just need to move vertically. Uh, we've got a vat of, I don't know what, something weird. Let's go upstairs, see if there's anything. Well, probably our buttons are going to be up here. It's got just enough graphically that it doesn't make me, like, worked up about the graphics. It seems like they're quite lovely. Uh, okay, I think I got this under control. Uh, but yeah, it also leaves enough to the imagination. Wait a minute. Oh, do I? I think I need to move this as well. Oh, this only goes up and down. Or what? I don't... 
forget what we're doing here. Are we switching? I don't understand. It's like distorting the pixels in a pattern. I saw them for a second. I said they were in the right spot. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. I'm not really sure I understand the pattern that it's moving them in, though. I think if I just keep jostling this one more or two more. No? Yeah, I totally don't understand what it is that I'm changing every time I keep moving this. It looks like it's going up and down, but it's kind of not. See, there it is. I could see the Space Invader very clearly there, and if I could just get him to sh jostle his way down a couple more moves... Oops, well, I just fell off the platform there. Why not? Let's go back up. Loosely fitting geometry, I have to say, for these banisters and such. Like, you'll see the, uh, the edges are not exactly fitted, like, coupled very nicely onto the, uh, edges underneath them, and the intersection between this, uh, slope and then this flat surface. Uh, it could be a little bit more refined, but, you know, whatever. Just the, uh, the nitpicking part of me going to town on it. Well, part of my biggest, uh, issue here is just that I don't really understand what exactly I'm modifying. I think they're... Oh, are they doing the two channels? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm doing, like, part of it with one button and part of it with the other button. I'm just trying to watch for a pattern here. It seems kind of random. Is it every other line? Oh, that's what it is. We're doing every other line. Alright, that took me way too long to figure out. Uh, yeah, okay, so this puzzle might actually take me a few moments to figure out then, because not really sure how I'm supposed to set this up. I would normally look for, like, tell signs of, like, where are the parts, you know, how do I get them to where they need to be. Uh, the arms of the Space Invader look like they're about to line up in the right spot. Oh, but then I keep ending up with that same situation, so if I move this one down, like, two more? Right, is it one or- no, I gotta leave it right there, right? And then we'll go through this one more time. If I just leave it alone... There, okay, it solves itself. Wow, that took me, like, ages. I'm sorry, you guys are probably getting very upset at me there. Off to work we go, and the screens keep getting bigger. Okay, Jumbotron Space Invader. Is this the, the final countdown? Is this... what is this thing? Got a pretty complex little structure here with all kinds of pipes and lights. And it looks like the buttons now are not really next to each other. What have I done? Alright, let's see if we can suss out a pattern here. So we've got a button there, we've got a button here. Am I just supposed to hit them in the right sequence, maybe? Testing, by the way, to see if I can sprint doesn't appear so. Okay, another button up here. It's like little by little the pieces are coming together, but I'm not sure if it's because I'm hitting them in the right or the wrong sequence or anything like that. It might just be that I just have to find all the buttons, in which case, you know, I can live with that. There's another button over here. It kind of looks like I just need to hit all the buttons. I'm totally fine with it. No? One more button? I did... Yeah, the one asymmetrical element here is that this button on the left does not have its counterpart on the right, and that's because I have to jump off right here to land on this one. It's not exactly hidden, but it's also uh, apparently hidden enough that I didn't notice it. And back up we go... Sense of mystery, still kind of building, I suppose. Was there anything else up here, or is this just, uh, that last button? Or the second to last button? Alright, so through this door, I suppose. Like, how many different varieties of button puzzle can we come across, I wonder? It's got a definitely surreal, like, antechamber essence to it, although not nearly as, uh, audio-visually engaging. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Is this, like, acid? Oh, jeez. Well, this isn't gonna end well. It's been nice knowing you folks. Uh, I guess we're just gonna get compressed to death in this pool of... Acid? I don't know. 
Oh. Is this the ending? Oh, it just shot out another space invader. Do we start again? Alright, I guess that's how it works. So we just keep going into the facility, solving all the puzzles, getting compressed, and then shot out of that smokestack. That's a, a little dystopian, a little depressing perhaps. Uh, I'm not sure how we got on the island to begin with. Maybe we're just being recycled ad infinitum. Maybe each one of these little space invader statues is waking up. And then, uh, you know, we're making our way back in completely unaware of the fate that is going to befall us. It's not uh, the happiest future, so I mean, makes sense that this would be designed for the no future contest. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm probably going to follow the link and find out. Maybe something I'd suggest you do as well. Uh, all in all, pretty cool little experience. I mean, there wasn't a ton of meat to it, but at the same time, it was a little more substantial than a lot of the things uh, that I end up looking at. Uh, I have a few qualms with that. I think it was actually pretty cool. Uh, the puzzles were mostly uh, a little bit on the easy side, but then again, uh, that, the one with the two meshes that I couldn't really line up, that was a little silly because I was just not getting the pattern there. Uh, perhaps if it left like slight contrails when the uh, the pixels were moving, it would be easier to tell which parts were happening at the same time. It just sort of looked like random stuff rearranging to me. Although I'm sure everybody watching probably got it pretty quick. This just seems to be the way it goes. So, uh, if you want to go check out Off to Work We Go, the link will be right in the description. It is, again, a totally free browser-based game. You can feel free to try it out yourself. I didn't really mean to go through the whole thing, but I wasn't sure how long it would be, and I guess I kind of wanted to see the closure on this little story anyway, since it was pretty short. Uh, seems a little silly to, like, go halfway through it and then just give up. But it might be a cool thing to uh, bring a friend, talk about with, and I am curious to hear what your uh, ideas are as far as how it is that this came to be, maybe why it exists, what is the, the deep-seated message. I'm sure you can come up with some silly story that you can go off on, because it's always fun to just extrapolate these ridiculous concepts uh, into, like, a whole fanfic type of thing. I mean, you don't need to go that far, but it could be kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, feel free to do that. Again, links in the description, as well as all my social media links, and I do urge you, of course, if you want to check out more in the series, uh, we've got over 450 episodes neatly archived over at indie-impressions.com, uh, as well as forums and all kinds of other goodies over there, so feel free to stop by, let me know what's going on, and if you want to check out any of my other social media, that, of course, is uh, definitely recommended and or, uh, you know, makes me happy. Maybe that's not exactly how you'd phrase that, but regardless... I do look forward to hearing from you if you do want to contribute or, you know, leave me whatever support you can. But that is going to do it for another episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. New episode every single day. If you are new to the series, I do encourage you, please uh, leave whatever support you can. I do appreciate it very much, and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow for another awesome, strange, surreal, weird, artistic, unique, original indie game. The list goes on. Anyway, have a lovely night. I will talk to you tomorrow.